This is actually 7.2, solving your word problem using a quadratic with the rational solutions, but it's the part two, okay? So there's different kinds of examples you'll get, and this is another type that you'll see. So in this example, it says, a ball is thrown from an initial height of three feet with an initial upward velocity of 24 feet per second. The ball's height h in feet after t seconds is given by the following. And they give us this equation here. Find all values of t for which the ball's height is seven feet. Round answers to the nearest hundredth. So here's the initial height. Maybe I was on top of a building or on top of a step, something like that. And then they threw the ball, okay? And this is the height of the ball. Now what they're asking me is when is the ball's height equal to seven feet? So what that means is I'm gonna take that equation they gave me and I'm gonna plug in seven for height. Now we already know that, particularly for me, the previous examples, I don't like to use the quadratic formula when my t squared, my squared term is negative. So I will actually add this over, it'll become positive 16 t squared. I will subtract the 24 t over, I will minus the t, the three over, and I still have that positive seven that was there to begin with. And if everybody's moved over, I do get zero on this side. Now here, I'm gonna have 16 t squared minus 24 t, and if I combine these like terms, I get positive four. And so then if I use my quadratic formula, I get a is 16, b is negative 24, and c is four. So t equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I get positive 24, positive 32, and I'm not sure about that part, so let me type that in the calculator. I get square root of 320. Now it does tell me to round my answers to the nearest hundredth, so I don't have to keep simplifying this. I can get the two answers. We have 24 plus the square root of 320 over 32, and then 24 minus the square root of 320 over 32. So let's go ahead and type that in the calculator. Fraction 24 plus the square root of 320 over 32. And I'm going to go to the side and hit the double arrow so I can get a decimal. And I get 1.31 because that 9 will affect this 0. Then I'm going to go back up there and make that a minus sign and hit enter and I get 0 0.19. This zero will not affect this nine. So I get two answers here. So in the computer, you're going to say it is 1.31 or 0 0.19 seconds. And both of these are positive, so both of them make sense. What also they're telling me is, is that from this image, this initial height must have been less than seven feet because at some point it's going to hit seven feet and then over here as the ball comes down it'll hit seven feet again okay so it hits seven feet right as i'm tossing it up and then it hits seven feet again as it comes down that's why we got two positive answers here for this one